It's been a rough year for fruit trees in Oklahoma, especially peaches and some of the related trees like nectarine, uh, plums, and apricots. So I wanna go over some of the four most common diseases that we've seen in the 2015 growing season. The first one is called leaf curl, and it actually started back in the spring when the leaves were just coming out, and this fungal disease caused those leaves to show weird distortions, um, sort of some puckering and blistering. And so if you saw this on your leaves in the spring, you might actually see the same kind of symptoms develop on the fruits later this year. Now, we do have a fact sheet on leaf curl that you can review all the management for this disease, which basically, it basically involves two fungicide applications to protect your trees. Another really common peach disease that we've seen is called brown rot. And brown rot is probably the most common uh, peach disease in the U.S. You've probably, if you haven't seen it on your peach tree, you've probably seen it at the grocery store. And it gets its name because it causes uh, the fruits, it'll start with a circular spot that will enlarge and get sort of brown and watery. Um, as the fungus invades the fruit, eventually you'll start to see sort of a velvety growth, which is that fungus producing spores that are going to shoot out and infect leaves, uh, the twigs, and other fruits on the tree. It's one that you really basically from bloom through uh, your harvest time, you really have to spray with fungicides if you want to prevent this tree from developing on your peaches. Now, the most common disease that we've seen in this year that's been really rainy is actually what the problem is with the tree that is behind me, and it's called peach scab. So it'll cause uh, these little spots to develop on the peach fruit, and they're usually most concentrated at the stem end. And as the season goes on, um, you may see more and more of those spots develop. Um, you can see this uh, peach is starting to get some color in it and the spots are a little bit bigger. So if you're seeing this, this is another one that we can use uh, preventative fungicides for and the critical time for this is basically from when the petals fall until the pits become hard. So if you didn't know if you were at that pit hardening stage, you could just cut open one of the peaches and see if that pit is hard. Now at this point, this tree is not gonna get any more lesions on the fruit, but the fungus is still active and it's actually causing lesions on the twigs. So we'll see small spots developing on these twigs throughout the season, and that's where this is gonna overwinter. Um, the last disease that I'll mention is a little bit different. It's a bacterial disease and it causes a lot of lesions to develop on the leaves as well as the fruits. Now the reason why this one is interesting is that this is actually from my own peach and the plant has a little bit of resistance to this disease. So you can see some of the little red uh, spots with, that will later turn brown. And as the tree recognizes it's being invaded, it's gonna drop out those spots causing this shot hole symptom where there's holy leaves. So you might think that something's been feeding on this, but it actually hasn't. It's just the plant trying to drop out that bacteria. Now, you may have spots develop on the fruits. Usually those spots um, look a little bit different than scab. They will be circular spots, but they're usually sunken and broken. And often around the spots, it looks kind of watery, um, sort of a symptom we call water soaking. Now for any of these diseases, if you wanna learn more, we have um, a couple of fact sheets you can look at. So there's one specifically on leaf curl, but we also have one that talks about all the common diseases that I've mentioned, as well as a few others. Um, one of the things you can do if you haven't installed a tree yet is take a little bit of time to review um, some of the the trees that we recommend for Oklahoma. Um, in this fact sheet, for instance, we have list of resistance to bacterial leaf spot. And you might take a little time to see if any of the trees you're looking at have resistance to the other diseases as well. 
Um, if you want to have very high quality peaches without blemishes, you are going to have to spray. So some of those spray guidelines are outlined in this fact sheet on um, home fruit tree production. But for a detailed list, you'll need to visit your county extension office and get a copy of the home fruit tree spray guide. Um, if you want to have organically produced peaches, there's still chemical options for you. So just visit with your extension educator and they will help you find those. Now, other than these things, there's three things that you can do to prevent disease from developing on your peaches. Number one is avoid injury, whether it be from your lawnmower or taking care of any insect problems that might create wounds. Number two is keeping the plant dry. So if you have a very thick area of the plant, pruning out some branches to increase airflow so these leaves and fruits dry more quickly. Um, and then the third thing is sanitation. So throughout the season, you're gonna have peaches fall on the ground, leaves fall. You wanna rake those up and discard them in the trash. And all of those three suggestions are great cultural methods that will help you have um, healthier plants overall, but will help reduce your disease pressure. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.